Hey guys, welcome back to Spine Soft, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Beretta M92A1 made by Umarex. This is a full metal pistol that you can get off of Evike for around $180, and it comes with semi and fully automatic. On an Evike, it says the gun shoots at around 330 FPS. This pistol is also CO2 powered as well. But is the full auto actually practical, and is it worth the $180 price tag? Well, let's find out. So, going over some of the details of the gun, starting up at the front, we have your obvious orange muzzle here, as well as your front post sight, and then you have a tactical rail up here that you could um, put flashlights or lasers or whatever you want on it. And then going back a little bit further, obviously we have the trigger and the trigger guard. The trigger right here looks like it's a long trigger pull, but if you have the hammer cocked back, then it's a regular trigger pull. So, I thought that when I first got it, that the trigger pull is going to be very long, uh, but no, it's just just for when it's not cocked back. And now going over the slide, you can pull it back like that. Uh, obviously, regular pistol slide. Um, pretty cool. I will say it's a bit hard of a pull, but uh, it's not that bad compared to other pistols in my opinion. And obviously, here's your slide lock, so it goes forward when you push it down. And then going back a little further, you have your rear sight. Uh, the iron sights on this gun are pretty normal, regular pistol sights. They're pretty nice. They line up well. You know, they're, they're, they're pistol iron sights. There's not much more to say about them. You also have your fire selector here. You have safe when it is pointed over the red dot and fire is when the red dot is showing right there. Uh, and yeah, when you put it on safe, it'll automatically take put the hammer back and stuff. And then going back even further, we have the hammer here, which obviously when you pull the trigger, does that. Very fun. And if you don't want it to make that noise, you could just put it on safe and then just pull the trigger. And there's no noise. So, there's that. So, so I just hop them. Well, you see, how you adjust the hop up is, um, you are. Uh, it doesn't have a hop up. There's no hop up. There is no adjustable. There's hop -up. no hop up. Um, yeah, there is no adjustable. How much was this gun? 180 bucks. 180 dollars, and it doesn't have a hop up. Yeah. So, so your 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 BBs when you shoot them, they're not gonna be going straight. They're gonna be going left, right, up, down, south, east, north, Asia, and not just straight. Yeah. Unbelievable. I'm done. You're fired. I um. And then going down over the handle we have here, uh, it has a nice little um, symbol thing there. And the grip feels nice, feels comfortable grooves make it feel good and then now we're going to go over the magazine so this gun obviously takes co2 and here's the magazine for it pretty standard pistol mag obviously you insert the co2 down there it holds about 26 rounds and actually something that's really cool about this mag is if you push it down and then pull it over to the side there's a little groove there and you can lock this down so you don't have to hold it down while you're putting in your bbs you can just put the bbs in while it's being held down and then uh, you could then release it when everything is loaded and it just makes loading the mag a lot easier. And now going even further back, back here, as you can see right there below the fire selector, if it's on fire, you could change this. Obviously there's one dot there and there's three dots there. So three dots could only mean this gun has fully automatic. Well, which... did you say if it's on fire, you have to light the gun on fire to shoot it? So yeah, this little switch here switches it from semi to fully automatic, uh, and the fully automatic is very fun, but as usual with fully automatic pistols, it is very inaccurate, so be aware of that, but it doesn't matter because it's really fun, so yeah. So now to take apart the weapon, obviously make sure the magazine is out. On this side, there is a little button here that you're going to have to push in, 
And as you are holding that in, bring this lever down, and then that will unlock the slide, and you can take the slide off, and then boom, there's the inside of your gun. Obviously, no adjustable hop up, as I said before, which may suck a little bit, especially because this gun is a little inaccurate. You know, but uh, yeah, that's how to take apart the gun. And now it seems I've gone over pretty much everything about the exterior of the gun and the details, so now we will get into the firing. Alright, this is what everyone's here for. Fully automatic. Yes. So that was the shooting for the gun. And uh, as you can see, here are the groupings of the on the screen. Obviously, this was shot with .20 BBs because that's just what we use for videos, just to you know make sure we have enough BBs to actually use the guns in actual airsoft matches with. Um, take them with a grain of salt, the groupings. But uh, overall, the gun is pretty out there in terms of accuracy. Uh, it's kind of all over the place, especially in full auto. Uh, so that could be a bit of an issue, obviously, because uh, if you don't hit your target, what's the point of using the gun? Um, but yeah, uh, really fun though, as you could probably see, the fire rate on full auto is lightning fast and it is fantastic. So fun to use. As being the M4 and high cap guy, so would you recommend it over a high cap? Would I recommend this gun over a high cap? Well. You see, there's very, they're very different play styles. They, uh, um, well, you see, they're, uh, they're, it, they're two different styles of guns, so it depends on, you know, I guess, um, high caps are better than this thing, you know? Just, yeah. So anyways, that was the review, guys. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy watching. Overall, is the gun worth 180 bucks? It depends. Because if you're going for performance-based, maybe not. But if you're going for pure fun factor, yes, definitely. This thing is a blast to use. It's a blast to just, just pull the trigger with because it just makes noise. Uh, and also the full auto is phenomenal on this thing. It is so fun. I love this gun to just mess around with. In actual matches, it could be hit or miss because of the accuracy, but obviously if you buy a full auto pistol, I don't think you expect uh, pinpoint accuracy, especially some under 200 bucks. Uh, so the, for the relatively cheap price, I'd say this thing is worth it, depending on what you want in your pistol. Uh, but yeah, that is the review. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe to help us on our road to a million subscribers because we're going to hit that soon. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video.